When a feminine woman is in discomfort for too long, she's going to naturally become masculine. This is the body's survival mechanism. If you're a man, you, your environment needs to be comfortable because femininity cannot thrive in discomfort. Masculinity can. Femininity can thrive like that. A woman who's anxious too long or uncomfortable too long, it, her body is going to make her more masculine so she can survive and defend herself. So if you're in a situation where you've seen your feminine woman turn masculine, she's not comfortable, bro. You have to have the skills to comfort and be comforting. You see what I'm saying? Join the Players Club. VIP Players Club. VIP. I got you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Happy Monday evening. If this is the first time you're viewing my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. But I just want to bring a little short message. I um, want to say, um, happy August first. This is now Leo seasons. Okay, so uh, I just want to give a shout out and to if your birthday today, if your birthday one day this month, happy birthday ahead of time. But I want to make a little um, statement. Um, a lot of times, a lot of times when you con consistently keep doing and being a certain way in your life, you will start losing a whole lot. And a lot of times you'll start losing um, individuals that you don't want to lose. And I, I mentioned about this before. You know, some people just very comfortable rolling in mess. Some individual just very comfortable dealing with people that's on low energy. They feel at home. They feel comfortable because that's who and what they are. It's a lot, it's a lot of times, you know, you sit there and you be acquainted to people or you know them and you start seeing little different things. So you start pulling back. That's your energy and your uh, intuition I'm trying to let you know that something is about this individual that is not right. You got to trust your gut, gut feeling and intuition, okay? Some people play games all their life. It's like the grasshopper. Play all summer, you know, just play, 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 play. And then when wintertime come around, they end up dying of starvation because they don't have no food because they played all summer. Well, that's how a lot of people live their life. They're comfortable of being that away. They think everything is a game. You know what I mean? They play everybody as a game. And those people who normally does that, always fall, falls hard on their face. They haven't learned, you know? And I was sitting there and I was having a convo with someone earlier. And I was saying that how, if you're not being grateful for what the most high has blessed you with, because, you know, if you're not being grateful for what the blessings you have and, and, and being grateful for them, you can lose them. And that can be sometimes people as well. You know, when you sit there and you know what you have to offer, you know what you bring to the table and someone does not see your worth and value, you got to disconnect from individuals like that. And sometimes it's a hurting feeling, but you got to wake up and realize what you're doing to yourself because you're doing more hurt than good. You hear what I'm saying? This was a short message. I talk to you soon. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Namaste.